previously. Crystal just taught me to get in a smiley. I'm so nervous. I'm about to get my smiley. I'm very nervous. I have the garbage now. Thank you. I may end up going back to the Pearson place. I'm highly disappointed. It's not straight. As y'all can see, the center of the smiley is on my left tooth. It's supposed to be directly in the middle. So I end up calling the Pearson place and they told me that it will give us a refund for the jury, but they cannot refund us for the job that was done. We're both gonna go in there tomorrow. All right, y'all, we are here at the town center, heading to the place to get our smiley fixed. You got something to say, Chris? Mm. Not right now, guys. She's by as upset as I am, so. <sighs> Here we go. Hello. Hello. Is Justin there? Yeah. Yes, yeah. there You said it was his last day. All right, you guys. So, unfortunately, I do not have the anatomy to get the proper piercing for the smiling. So, they offered to get me a nose piercing. It's gonna get very much too pop. I am happy that they were able to work with me. <sighs> I'm just scared. <laughs> Those little circle of pimple band-aids, put the fuzzy part up there before you do makeup, wash your face, or go to sleep. Because it won't come out and suck out and want to do a lot of moving. Because those things cause like irritation bumps. Okay. I know all you gotta do is keep taking me back to when I got my tongue pierced. It seemed like they had the hardest time getting through. But every time I think about a needle in my skin. That's what I think about. All you gotta do is take a deep breath in. By the time you breathe, take that breath out, it's gonna be over. Ryan, chill. Mm -hmm. It's over. Oh. Ryan, what's up? With your friends at the house. It was over before it started. I must say, when you started twisting. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, y'all. So I have my nose pierced. Shout out to Mike. Y'all ever come? to get anything fixed or, you know, you want a new piercing or whatever, y'all make sure y'all come and see Mike. I like it. What's up, bestie? So y'all, it is several hours later. I'm talking about several, several hours later. Like right now it's past midnight. I think it's like one o'clock. Y'all, when I got home, after being in that sun all day on day, came back home and went to sleep. Now I'm up looking crazy. But y'all look at the nose ring. I like it, y'all. I like it. When we went up there, surprisingly, it was no issue. Um, the only thing that caught us off guard, I don't know if y'all heard it or not, but they said Justin, the manager that I talked to yesterday, like yesterday was their last day. So the first thing that came to my mind is, okay, he's selling us BS because he done told us all this good stuff. You know, oh, we'll give you a refund. Oh, they'll do this. They'll take care of that. And he ain't even done a bike it up. But as I mentioned to him, I hear about the integrity of the company and they don't play. So when we went there, we explained what happened. The lady that helped us originally, um, the one that was holding back our lip, as the other lady was piercing the web, um, we talked to her and she, she agreed with everything we had to say. She was like, yeah, I mean, the lady did a terrible job. So they gave us a few options and the best for me was to go ahead and get it removed and pierce something else because they said I didn't have the anatomy for the actual smiley. That's why it was through my lip and not through the web in the middle of my lip. Child, y'all, they tried to get me to get the septum. Y'all know the bull ring? I said, absolutely not. Then they was like, well, we can do the belly button. Nah. So we decided to do the traditional nose piercing and everything turned out great. I'm definitely satisfied with it. So now that I'm up, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a touch up um, with my hair. I literally just set my appointment with my barber. He said if I bleach my goatee, cause they've been trying to get me to bleach my goatee for a while. Him, my friends, my sister, especially Sharika, <laughs> they've been trying to get me to bleach my goatee. Like, if you don't like it, just dye back black. And I'm like, 
Mm. My haircut is on the house. If I go through with bleaching my goatee, if I like it, you know, that's a win-win. If I don't, he wants to see that I at least tried and then I still get a free cut even if I dyed back black and didn't like it. So we'll see, but I'm, <laughs> but we'll see. Of course, I'm using the same method, the same ingredients for it. I'm under my sink, by the way. That's why, <laughs> that's why the camera is like position weird. I'm using the Clairol 40 volume. This is how it looks. Got it from Beauty Max. And then I used the Clairol Blue. This is for dark hair, dark to light. So I used two of those. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also used the Cantu Shea Butter Conditioner. Um, I mix that in with the mix. And then when I'm done with that, I do a deep treatment mask right here. Do that for about 30 minutes. It is the next day. When I bleached my hair one caught this morning, a mess. I'm talking about everything went completely wrong for starters. Of course, I hit my roots. Now, my y'all, I had done this before and this did not happen. When I did my touch up, I hit my roots and then I did the side. When I washed the bleach out of my hair, y'all, it turned blue. So I used the purple toner or whatever it's called in my hair. And when I used that, it made it even more blue. <laughs> It was like a wash blue. That's not even the worst part. And I, my beard, I promise y'all I added about 30 years on myself. It looked a mess. Like, y'all expect me to walk around like this? Like this? Come on now. So I managed to dye my hair back a darker tone. I'm on my way to the beauty supply store to get me some jet black and we just gonna do a jet black tea. Also, I have another package that just arrived that I was expecting for a while now. I had ordered me a new bed. It's one of those bed in the boxes. And um, I started to buy one at Walmart, but when I went online, I seen that Amazon and Wayfair had one on sale, but Wayfair, they had the cheapest price. So I went ahead and ordered my bed from them. Now, when I went on Wayfair and I was, you know, checking out and everything, I guess I have like that automatic thing where, say when you type in your first name, so with me, Ryan, and then your iOS keypad on your iPhone, it gives you like, it try to finish it out. So I clicked it, didn't even realize that my actual address that saved into my phone is my mother's address and not my current address. So the item was shipped to my mom's house. I also have some rails that is on its way. I called Wayfair immediately to see if they could, you know, adjust it themselves. They recommend I contact FedEx, go online to FedEx once I received my shipping information. It was off to ship immediately. Went on FedEx to fill out the information and now I have to wait for a registration letter that's supposed to come in the mail. It's just a whole lot of mess. So I wasn't even able to change the address. It's just... I was highly upset because I'm like, damn, I hope this bed fit into my car. If it's not, then we're gonna have a problem. Oh yeah, okay. I managed to get the mattress in the back seat. I just left from UPS to drop off those veneers. <laughs> just received an email from a brand that I'm working closely with. They just emailed me and said that my package was delivered, so now, I need to stop and get some gas and head on the other side of town so I can pick that up and start with that collaboration. And y'all, I thank God that they had emailed me. I'm literally like right up the street from my house and I would have been so upset if I would have got up them stairs or up the elevator because I got that big old box. And then had to jump right back in my car to go and pick that package up. I might stop and get me something quick to eat. Early this morning, I had um, took Delia to the airport. She's on her way out to Vermont for a training. She will be gone all week. I'm so happy for her. She was super nervous and she almost didn't want to get out the car. I told her this is a huge opportunity for her um, as far as coin and you know her career period and Hello, it's an experience to fly. She was asking me all of these questions about flying. I'm like, girl, I never flown before. I don't know. You better go on YouTube.
That is bold. Oh, oh my god, oh, no. Oh, that's funny as fucking shit, See? dude. Mm -hmm. Well, See? we tried. Nah. Besties. We are back. And we are back black. Actually, my head is blue black. And it's so cute. I don't know if y'all can really tell. Let me get in front of the light real quick. Hold on. Can y'all tell now? No. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But anyway, my hair is now blue black. And I'm satisfied with it. I'm glad that I changed it. Blonde well, was getting a little old. So all y'all blind haters, I know y'all having a ball in the comments right now. But don't do not do too much. Don't do too much. Because y'all be getting real disrespectful. I be keeping it cute. I be keeping it cute. Girl, the girls be girling in my comments sometimes. And it's so funny, y'all. I don't know if I ever shared this with y'all, but YouTube has a thing where you can put like trigger words and words that you don't want to see at all. So I take advantage of that. And sometimes when I post a video and I don't care to hear like opinions, I go ahead and throw a little words in that. Y'all won't be able to see it, but I am able to see it. And girl, the girls be girling, honey. Some be blocked, some get a pass, but keep it cute, sis. I won't be changing my hair color for a while though. Um, not until like the fall out. I'll probably do like ginger or orange, something like that for the fall, but. That's a whole nother story. But yeah, I'm so happy to be home. It's been a long day, y'all. You know, I still did not get my mattress out of the car. I actually called one of my friends to come here and help me carry it from the parking lot to the elevator up to the apartment. Because I'm not doing it by myself. It's just not going to happen. I need to invest in one of those dollies because that will definitely help me. Especially with me being here for a while. That would really help. So I think I need to invest into a dolly. Also, I haven't eaten anything since nine o'clock this morning. Right now it is 6 p.m. because my haircut appointment was at five. He took me at a later time because my haircut was free. So he had to take me at a later time and I'm starved. So I think while I'm editing and uh, uploading this video i'm gonna start on dinner i don't know what i'm gonna cook just yet i may just snack on something really quick as i'm editing and then when i'm uploading then start on cooking something i'll probably cook like some salmon or some chicken something like that but when we bring the matches i would definitely get footage of that also hopefully by the time i upload my next video which is the day after tomorrow my rails come in on that day and come in early like that mattress did so i can have the whole shebang set up and I'll definitely show y'all and let y'all know if it was a great buy or not. So but I'm about to go ahead and get some me time. I'm going to play some music, light a candle, get me some wine, edit this video and just really relax because I'm tired, y'all. It's been a long day. But I'll talk to y'all later, girl. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up before you leave because that will help me a lot. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I post another video. Y'all, I love y'all. Make sure you are being safe out there and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. <laughs>